Zainab Fasiki. Hi, my name is Zainab Fasiki. I'm a Moroccan artist. I live in Morocco and I do political art. I defend freedom of the body and of speech and of belief. I think there are two kinds of me metamorphosis. There's a metamorphosis that you choose and the one that you don't. The one that I didn't choose is the bodily one. My transition from a child to becoming a woman in Moroccan society is quite dramatic, actually. I grew up in the Al Medina in Fez, in a very conservative Muslim environment. I understood that society is obsessed by the, the female body and is obsessed with judging it. The pretext is that the body is the cause of rape and uh, sexual violence. So there was this a sense of frustration and shame. It's also the title of my book, Shoma, exposes that culture. I created naked portraits of myself, which I published on social networks. That's what I've been doing since 2013 on, on for internet users. I'm a mechanical engineer by training, and I've, I've changed to, to work on this. My profession now is, is being an artivist, and it means being an activist and an artist at the same time. Artivist. I know that we're an entrepreneurial event here. For me, one of the most important investments was investing in, the, in what is human. What's happening in Africa, in Arab countries, it's, it's several countries, people are deliberately limit, limited the knowledge imparted to to the public, the general public, so that reduces their capacity to criticize what's going on. I want to use my body as I wish. There's no religion or law that should control that. For me, that's one of the most heinous crimes that can be on this, this planet, on those evil crimes. That's why I tried to set up workshops, not just in Morocco. I'm, I'm constantly traveling. I work with children and teenagers because I know that feeling. I remember my first lesson in philo philosophy. We're asked to doubt. When I made my first co comment, I, 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 I was worried about um, the comments I made, and I ended up being disciplined. At the same time, how could it be that you're being asked to doubt, but then you're being punished because you have these doubts? It's at that point that, that I realized while citizens are all intellectuals, they may un understand all of that, they respect that, they respect that need for freedom, whether it's bodily or artistic freedom. It can be a threat, though, for public authorities. If we're not all united on this problem, then we can't resolve it. Political art for me is one of the most important areas, but it's actually a neglected area. An artist um, suffers financially, even though they're very far from politics. You have personal security, mental health. You're harassed online, but also by, by the uh, by authorities. But political art needs to be seen as, as a profession, but we need to ensure that we support artists as well. When I talked about shoma, shame, as a, 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 a culture of censure, there are, there are Russian, Arab artists, they're in prison because they've done a drawing because they've created poetry, because they've criticized, and they've ended up in, in prison, perhaps because they criticized the law. For me, that is a major component of, of my work. It's about freeing up uh, expression, and it's a, a fundamental human right. We can't just um, limit um, think, ch children's thinking. It's not just about a someone who does caricatures or, or drawings. The, the fact that they're giving a, a message or they're illustrating a, a drawing, the fact that you can look at it in two, 
two seconds, you actually manage to illustrate what you're trying to say, and you manage to do that more effectively than you can in words. Recently, um, drawings have uh, triggered wars between communities. Unfortunately, artists are not free. The decision I took was to run these workshops. I'm working on five political cartoons at the moment where, where I'm defending secularism in, in, in Morocco. I'm, I'm defending freedom in sex, sexuality. We don't have sex education in Moroccan schools or in Moroccan families. When we talk about um, Morocco, we could actually um, extend that observation to the neighboring region. What I'm trying to do is um, respond to a, a lack a gap that at school we didn't have any freedom. Finally, we've reached a point where an artist can produce political material and be supported. And it's an opportunity to encourage young people to read. I was censured when I when I tried to bring my book to Moroccan publishers. So that's why I only worked with um, French um, pu publishers, and that's why I'd like to thank um, the French publisher who took me on. It really encourages Moroccan artists to continue. But I've decided to stay in Morocco because it's home for me. I don't want to leave behind the artist communities that I know there. You are the change. Please do not stop supporting artists. Thank you very much.